Hello, I'm Victoria Lundquist. Thank you for joining me today on this video. I wanted to create a little more personal contact with you who have been my brothers and sisters of the light on this planet for many years. Many of you have been acquainted with my website, which is victoriaslight.com, and seen some of the footage and the photography that I've captured on film from my own personal encounters with other dimensions, with angels, with interdimensional beings, with um, heavenly vehicles that I think are more than just what you would call a UFO. I've been capturing vehicles that have pictographic images transmitted when you slow the footage down and I have received very pertinent information regarding this planet and the transformation that we are going through now. We are getting ready to embark on a major leap. I call it going through the eye of the needle. The scientists talk about all of the catastrophes that have taken place over the eons of time when the earth has gone through a cleansing period. I personally believe that we are going to experience something very different than we've ever seen before. There has never been so much light on the planet as there is now. And we need more light and we need to encourage our brothers and sisters who are still waking up to reach for a higher conscious thought form. It is important right now not to get too engrossed in the television, in the news, in the fear, in the negativity. Yes, our economy is changing. Our financial world is totally changed and will continue to do so as we are going to be moving out of some of the structure that we are used to as a species. When I did Coast to Coast Radio, I mentioned we were going to have some major financial changes and those, those have come about as we have seen uh, the fall of uh, the dollar and what's happening with our government, not just in the United States, but all over the world. But I say to you, fear not, for there are greater things coming. There is a greater plan coming. In 1997, I had a, two visions on Easter weekend, March 30th and 31st. In the first vision, I saw two Earths. I saw our Earth, and then I saw a second Earth that was a little higher degree above. And then I saw what looked like either a, a rocket or something transplanting onto this other planet. And the next morning I asked, I need more information, what does this mean? And it was almost like I was out in space viewing what was taking place. And the following night, I was fortunate enough to be able to have another vision. And in this second vision, I saw no sky. All I saw was another Earth coming into the atmosphere, filling up the sky. It had an luminous white light, like this long cigar-shaped craft, and strangely enough, a castle on top of it. Now, in Zachariah Sitchin's book, Divine Encounters, he's actually depicted something very much uh, like I saw, but I hadn't read his book when I had this vision. And people were running around in a frenzy of confusion, and they were looking at this image and they were saying, who are you and what do you want? And I said to the people, oh, this is such a beautiful 
this is such a beautiful presence. Wonderful things getting ready to take place. And they didn't understand. And maybe some of you will not understand me. And that's okay. I send you my love and my support and my prayers anyway. Because not all of us are going to grow at the same rate. Each of us is on our own personal journey, our own picture of reality. My picture of reality has been a very good one. It's helped me, I call it surfing through these waves of change. And uh, we all have to take responsibility for where our mind is and that our thoughts and our attitude is really what's going to support us as we go through some difficult times. We recently had a very large earthquake in Italy and uh, I have a daughter over there who felt it also and um, it's going to continue. We are going to have more, more earth changes. But I, I say unto you that trust and listen. If you are guided to move to a different location on this planet, to feel safer or feel more supported by a, a community, like, for instance, where I live in Pagosa Springs, Colorado, southwestern Colorado, we have a wonderful community here, and we're getting ready. We're getting ready for a new, a new kind of experience that's coming to us on this planet throughout the world. So the last thing I want to say at this time, there's so much to share, but Many of you have been on the program of victory. You've signed up to be with that. With, um, so I could contact you in the event that the internet goes out. And hopefully we'll, we might have some telephones. But I'm going to be traveling to some different cities, starting in Northern California. I'm lecturing up at the Mount Shasta UFO Mysteries and, and other ancient um, mysteries and that's at Mount Shasta and that's in June and you can look that up it's under Shalimore Productions and I'll be a guest speaker there but I will also be coming to many cities around the country and showing my documentary film Encounters with Angels UFOs and Divine Messages which I produce based on my personal encounters. It's all of my film footage and my music and the message that's been given to me. And I've been receiving these messages since age five. So I invite you to pay attention in your areas to see when uh, it's advertised. And if you feel so inspired, to get involved, to help in some way. Um, I'm a massage therapist and a hypnotherapist, a corporate dropout, but um, I appreciate all of the assistance that is uh, offered wherever I go, whether it's a small donation uh, to help us take it to the next city, because we won't be charging a lot to come to the film will come to the film and there will be a, a mini lecture with myself sharing with you even the most updated material which shows live footage of a large mothership that goes all the way across the sky with all the blinking lights and these, these ships are everywhere and people say well now who, who is it that's contacting you? I'm I'm kind of an ambassador with the other worlds, and I have been since I was very small. And they are benevolent. Some of them uh, you would not even recognize the names of their races, but they are of a heavenly nature. They are 